Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Bonsai at Dr. Bonsai's Meme Emporium, and I've got a Battletech Premium Pause for the air quotes. Uh, premium miniature, the Stormcrow B or TC. So this one actually comes with two variants. I popped this one open just to kind of check the contents and make sure I got all the pieces. Uh, this was originally released by uh, a company that Blaine Pardo and one of the other guys that Catalyst owned. They did like a short, they did like a one shot run just to kind of make sure that this, that people would be interested in this. And I missed it, and apparently they went away, or they stopped making those because there was a bunch of QA issues, you know, basically outside the discussion of this current miniature, because this current miniature is being made by Monster Fight Club, uh, same as the others. And I'm interested to see what this is going to look like compared to the, the others that I've reviewed, and also... Uh, I don't have a copy of one of the ones that Blaine's companies produced, but I'd be, I'd be highly inter interested in seeing what that would, what the comparison would be. So, uh, like I said, I did pop this open, so it comes in this little, you know, this matchbook type paper, and then it comes in a dime bag because plastic crack, lol. All right, so uh, come on, come on, fellas. Of course, pours out the first time when I'm doing this off camera, but as soon as I get on camera, it starts to fight. Okay, so your standard, standard hex base, nothing to write home about. And you get the main torso. Now the main torso, you'll notice from the original has, the original has a medium laser in the head. These ones, uh, these configurations, all the weapons are loaded in the arm. And then I believe this one has a targeting computer stored in one of the torsos. The other version is the B, which is six ER medium lasers plus a uh, UAC-20. So the TC is a Gauss rifle, targeting computer, and four ER medium lasers. So that's the get, well, let's focus here. So looks actually fairly, fairly well put together, fairly clean. Some kind of remnants of the mold and this kind of little white piece right there is uh, mold. Again, covered in this white, gross stuff that irritates my skin. I don't know, maybe I just have sensitive baby hands, but it's well within the realm of possibility. Um, and then you have the lower torso, which... So let's go pop that. Okay, so that rides a little high. So that's going to be worth taking a look at. And probably trying to, it's probably going to take a little bit of work to make, make pretty. Uh, and then you have two pairs of legs. You kind of have, yeah, here we go. So you have a pair of just kind of typical standing legs. Or one leg is kind of askew the other. Um, the f Ooh, that's a lot of mold excess on the feet. Looks kind of wonky. So this is probably going to get the hot water treatment uh, to straighten that out. And then the other leg, one is up and the other is planted solidly on the floor. So we're looking, so you can kind of make it a running pose, which honestly, I've played this configuration game, not with this model, but I've played this configuration. You get one of these things running hell for leather at you with a UAC-20 and it's bad news bears. Or bad news, smoke jaguars, because that's the clan I play. Whoa! Um, and this is the U Act Twenty, and oh boy, mm, she thick. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Mama, don't be so mean. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. That looks amazing, actually. I, I'm not gonna hold you up. That's that looks spectacular. Uh, and then the other arm, which is the. Gauss rifle, which is arguably the better choice because it, in this particular TC configuration, it's paired with a computer, but come on. It's not a girthy boy. And then from there, you have your two arms, and this is kind of where it gets... The, the B gets squirrely because you have these six ER medium lasers strapped to your other arm, and it's got a ball joint, good range of posability. So you could probably get a really, a really good pose out of this. Um, 
and then you have the TC arm, which is just the four ER medium lasers, but it's like you're still pairing up with the with the targeting computer. So, um, and then this is the yeah we already looked at the hip assembly. So, how does this look compared to the original? So here is original in plastic, which is a damning statement about how I need to paint my miniatures. Um, so fairly identical. Like I said, the only, the big difference is there's no, uh, medium laser in the head area. So everything's very, so this one has a little bit better depth of detail and fidelity, uh, which is weird considering these soft PVC miniatures, you would think that wouldn't be the case, but so, um, but yeah, so looking looks looks fairly good the the legs probably like i said are probably i don't know that one's gonna be that one's gonna be nice and planted and fine so that one's gonna look fine feet are identical obviously to the model there shouldn't be any reason why they shouldn't be and then okay so that is the front so you see how low this is riding versus how how high it's sitting on this one so this so that's going to require some cutting down which is not that big of a deal it's good soft material but Man, I I approve. So, realistically, the miniature that we're looking at is a three out of five because it's you know it's, it is what it is. You know, it's th I, this is a three out of five miniature with the mold, molding issues that needs to be addressed. The uh, other other you know, minor quibbles about quality. This is three out of five, solid three out of five. If you're a Smoke Jaguar guy like me and Smoke Jaguars love them some Storm Crows, I would say give this a thumbs up. Uh, it's, you could do a lot worse. Um, if you are a cleaner in general, Storm Crows are always a good time because they do hilarious things like delete hunchbacks in, in a single volley sometimes. I've, I've had that happen. Um, if you're an Intersphere player, you, you don't need this. You, you probably don't need this realistically because you've got nothing to do with you. Pretty perfectly honest with you. So yeah, so that's the Storm Crow TC by Catalyst Game Labs in association with um, Monster Fight Club. And out of all of these so far, I hate this the least, <laughs> which is which is something to say, but it's true. So that's my opinion. Uh, $15 retail US. It's about what you would pay for a metal miniature from Iron Wind Metals, and it's probably the equivalent amount of work to get it prepped and ready and painted. So uh, the ball is in your courts, guys, consumers. Let me know what you think in the comments. Bye.